Isn't that super annoying? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Casey and this is my really squeaky Jeep. Yeah, today I'm gonna be taking a look at the brakes on the front of my Jeep to see just what's going on. Uh, they've been squeaking since I parked the Jeep back when I got back from Jeep Jamboree way in June. And I haven't really driven the Jeep much over the summer. So today uh, I just finished picking up some of this called uh, Disc Brake Quiet. This goes on the back of your brake pads and it's supposed to help uh, keep them from making squeaking and bad noises like we just heard on mine. I do take my brakes apart quite often. Uh, it seems like every couple of times I go out I get something in there and the brake pads and the calipers just need constant cleaning. So I'm hoping adding some of this disc brake quiet will help reduce that uh, maintenance that I have to be constantly doing on the Jeep. So we're just gonna pop off this front tire here. Shouldn't take too long. We're gonna pull apart the brake and the caliper, pull the pads out, clean them all up really good. And hopefully I'll be able to check off one of the boxes of the maintenance items that I need to be doing on my Jeep because I've been kind of just putting it off for the last few weeks. I do want to get out and do some wheeling, hopefully next week and maybe the weekend after, so we should see some off-road vlogs coming to the channel very soon. But first, we need to get the Jeep ready to go, and I don't want to be driving all the way to the trail all day long with a brake that's going rit, 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 all day long. So, let's get this taken apart, we'll get it fixed up, and hopefully that squeak is gone. All right, so I'm just going to knock the tire off, pull the brake off, pretty standard process, the five lugs, and then the two caliper bolts. I may cut in some B-roll from doing the passenger side. I filmed the entire removing of my brakes and there was no audio, but we're gonna be doing the driver's side right now exactly the same thing. Basically the process is pull the wheel off, pull the two main caliper bolts off. We're gonna pull out the two brake pads, inspect the retainer clips to see if they're broken, we're gonna clean the retainer clips, we're gonna, re we're gonna clean the caliper itself, and we're gonna clean the brake pads up. We're gonna apply our disc brake anti-squeal adhesive to the back of the brake pads, and then reassemble everything and it should be good. Okay, I've gone ahead and I fully turned my wheel towards the passenger side just so that I can expose these two 21 mil caliper bolts uh, and get my impact on and get them off nice and nice and easily. Next, I'm going to just remove my brake pads. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these up. So on these ones, this is fairly clean in here. There is some debris stuck to the trailing edge of the pad. Uh, the back's not too bad. On the other pads, you can see though, how much dirt is stuck in this uh, center groove. And we're just gonna carefully uh, kind of push that out with a screwdriver and go around the edges and remove any debris. Then I'm going to take these and I'm gonna just wash them in my sink. Get all of the dirt and mud and dust off of these. These ones aren't too bad. There's a little bit of debris here, dirt and dust in the groove of the pad. We'll clean that out, we'll wash these up and then we can apply our uh, disc brake anti-squeal uh, compound. The other thing I wanna do is inspect uh, these clips. So this one popped out. Probably just needs a little bit of adjustment to make it snap into place. So the other ones are looking pretty good. So there's four of these. I'm just gonna pull them all out and we're gonna just clean them up and then clean these up and then reinstall our pads. Um, actually, on the other side, we were missing two clips. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I have had these break. Since I put the Dynatrack larger brakes on, the ProGrip brakes, I find that these get warped and 
I've lost them before. So I ordered these off Amazon. Uh, this is a parts kit and it has the guide pin sleeves as well as eight of these retainer clips in it. These are about, I think about 20 bucks Canadian on Amazon. I'll put some links down in the description if you wanna grab these. I always like to have these on hand. Uh, I seem to go through these retainer clips and this seems to be cheaper than obviously the dealer or even from a parts store. So uh, I keep these on hand and the old clips that aren't broken, maybe just dirty and a little warped, I put them in here just in case because always good to have some spares. So these ones look pretty good. I'm just gonna clean them up. But on the other side, um, I was actually missing a couple and one of them was broken. So I replaced three on the passenger side. I've got the four here. We're just gonna clean these up in some soapy water. Just wash these up. They're now nice and clean, just like I did on the other side. There's no dirt and debris stuck in the center channel or around the ears and the backs are nice and clean, ready for our disc brake anti-squeal. All I'm going to do is just wash the caliper down, make sure there's no large debris in it. I do find I get a lot of gunk in here and I especially want to get the mounting tab area where we're going to have the anti-squeal and the clips sit. Retainer clips are all cleaned up, so we're just gonna reinstall them now. Next, I'm going to put this uh, disc brake quiet. Uh, stops squealing, but uh, it also just helps. Uh, well, it's sort of like an adhesive, so prevents more crap from getting in here, especially when we get so much dust. So. I'm just gonna put it on the area on the back of the pad, make sure I get where the piston comes into contact. And then I'm gonna also do the little ears here that come into contact with the retainer clips. You wanna make sure you don't get this on the front side of the pad, the actual brake pad. And I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes so it gets tacky and so that it's not super wet when we're putting it back into the caliper. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my brake pads in. There we go. Hopefully, if I didn't mess with this brake at all, it should just slip back on. Don't forget we want to torque our caliper bolts to 120 pound-feet of torque. All right, there we have it. Just took the Jeep out for a little test drive and the brakes seem to be great. No more squeaking or squealing. And that is one more thing checked off my list. If you guys have any questions or comments about fixing your brakes or anything about Jeeps, leave it down below the like button in the comments section. I do check them frequently and would love to help you guys out with any questions you have. If you're not already subscribed, I do put out new videos every week and I would love to have you join the community here. With that said, I'll see you guys soon in the next upload.